wore a weak Shargon. And so we had at least a mini war tonight and uh, maybe more than we thought we'd get on paper. Indeed. Well, we'll have a final word on what happened here in the ring in just a minute. Right now, let's look ahead to some upcoming programs on HBO. They're one of the most feared gangs in New York City. And King Tone was their fearless leader. We get stronger. We get bigger. But in a kingdom built around drugs and violence, can the corrupted be redeemed? I never conspired to kill one of my own people. Antonio Fernandez has done more to get rid of drug dealing in this town and to get rid of violence in this town than Police Commissioner Howard Saber. King Tone is a thug. The judge, the system, throw his mask. From the rallies to the riots. We not the mother boy scout. A rare glimpse into the stronghold of the Latin kings and queens. That's John. He's always in my face with the camera. Latin Kings, a street gang story. Premieres Thursday, August 14th. Uncompromising. Unparalleled. Unforgettable. Sports of the 20th Century. The award-winning documentary series you'll find only on HBO. There's no way they beat us. I'll go to my grave believing that. Now, journey through the playing fields of time. It was a miracle. David slew Goliath. Beginning Monday night at 7. And every Monday night in August, HBO presents five critically acclaimed documentaries that reveal the unexplored stories behind America's sports legends. Well, that was the time of my life. I would have been a big time gangster or I was gonna go on and have the career I had. And captures some of the most enduring images of our time. The heroes, the glory, sports of the 20th century. Premieres Monday night at seven on HBO. comes your way August 16 when Derek Gaynor and Juan Manuel Marquez put their respective title belts on the line in a featherweight title unification bout. And September 13 on HBO pay-per-view, Oscar Del Hoya defends his 154-pound title against Shane Mosley. Mosley won their first meeting, a classic 12-round pitch battle by a split decision. Now three years later, they'll do it again. HBO boxing for 30 years, building legends one round at a time. 24-year-old Manny Pacquiao is already a legend in the Philippines, and tonight he extended that legend with an easy knockout win over Bronx-based former Mexican star Emmanuel Lucero. Pacquiao knocking Lucero out with an unmitigated barrage of over-the-top shots. Then Fernando Vargas went in against Fitz Vanderpool and survived the first couple of rounds of Vanderpool's amazingly awkward, nervous haymaker shots, some of which landed on Vargas. Eventually, Fernando got his feet under him and disciplined himself to box better and better before getting a TKO stoppage of that opponent. Next on HBO, stay tuned for Legendary Nights, The Tale of Hagler Leonard, followed by Sex and the City. So now for our entire HBO crew, I'm Jim Lampley saying so long from Los Angeles, California. The executive producer of HBO Sports is Rick Bernstein. Tonight's edition of Boxing After Dark was produced by Thomas Odelfeld and directed by Mark Payton. Feature producers John Crystal and Aaron Cohen. Associate director Brooke Silva Braga. Assistants to the producer George Jakovic and Harley Glantz. Production manager Harley Peterman. Technical supervisor Bob Hunter. And the technical director was Colby Bourgeois. Celebrating 30 years of boxing, this has been a presentation of HBO Sports, the network of champions.